I've been trying my best not to think about you But you're stuck in my mind I've been hypnotized by you Everybody. I literally feel so tired this morning. I've got my vaccine this morning, so I need to get up. So I've got my second vaccine. I had my first one quite a few weeks ago now, um, but I've got my second one. So I'm going to hop in the shower, wash my hair, and then we're going to go head off and get that. Get that done first thing. But yeah, I'm just feeling so tired. I was like, I need to wake up. I need to actually open the blinds so I wake up a bit more. But we're gonna go get that first thing. And I thought I would film kind of just like a vlog, a little day in the life vlog, but I'm just so cozy in bed. Like, does anyone get this where you just like, it's just so hard to get up. I've got like half an hour till I need to leave. So I'm thinking of washing my hair in the shower. Um, that's super irrelevant information. <laughs> But yeah, I'm thinking of washing my hair in the shower and then yeah, heading off to go get my vaccine. So we'll see. I think it's crossed don't get any side effects. I had quite a few side effects from my first one. I had the AstraZeneca one. Um, so fingers crossed, we should be all good today. But I will let you guys know. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling super lucky that I can have my second one now though. So I'm very grateful for that. It also looks like it's gonna be such a beautiful day today, which I'm so excited about because I literally love the sunny weather. Like it's so nice it just puts me in such a positive mood when it's sunny so i love it but anyway let's go up let's get going so guys i thought i would have more time than i actually do but i'm literally running out of time so i kind of quickly blow dried my hair i just put on this baggy t-shirt this is the one i got from asos um and then just some lululemon black leggings so we're gonna head there now because i don't want to be late but yeah i literally just look a little bit like a drowned rat but you know what my hair is a mess anyway so i just grabbed my sunnies so nice we are in the car we're heading off um i've literally just had the biggest mare and i'm gonna tell you about i want to get back because Oh my god, right. But anyway, we need to go, so no time for that. Let's go. Right, guys, we are back. Vaccine is all done. Now I can tell you about my fiasco. I ordered some caramel syrup for my coffees off Amazon um, yesterday, and it was on Prime, so it's coming today. And I happened to get in the shower just as the postwoman comes, so I didn't even hear the doorbell. And um, she leaves it over the side gate. And I go outside, and the whole caramel syrup has seeped through the box all over the floor. Like, let me just show you. So, this is what it looks like literally all over the floor the thing is cracked i'll just go show you in a second because i literally just didn't have time to clean up and he's just hosed down the side and then i suppose i i don't know what to do because like it was obviously her fault um i suppose just tell amazon that i need a new one but yeah i just wish i wasn't in the shower at that point in time but there we go so love that for us no caramel syrup We've got caramel all over the um patio which is nice so love that but vaccine was absolutely fine by the way um super quick super easy um we'll see if i get any side effects she was like basically she was like do i give you pfizer or astrazeneca and i was like well because i had astrazeneca the first time i assume i have astrazeneca again and she was like yeah because i'm because obviously i'm 22 and um she was like yeah and then she went and checked and the woman was like, well, yeah, that's the current guidelines. Like, give them the same one. She's like, hmm. So I don't know what she was on about. She was like, I don't know if she didn't know what she was doing or I don't know. But anyway, she ended up giving me the AstraZeneca one, which I'm pretty sure is what you're meant to do. But anywho, that's what the one we had. So let's go inside and sort out the caramel mess because I'm actually really sad because I have no caramel syrup for my coffees. But so that just means I have to pop to Starbucks, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> guys like look at that mess it's like all under the gate <laughs> let's hose it down oh my god oh the side is all washed away so that's all good now um but i've just changed into some little shorts um i'm so hot today i'm so here for it but it's also so hot i feel like you're not from the uk if you don't moan when it's hot weather <laughs> i was gonna put some makeup on but i feel so hungry so we'll do that in a bit i'm gonna make myself some avocado poached eggs on toast i think i feel like that's what i want for breakfast and i might sit outside in the garden because look how nice it looks like it looks so nice today so i might just go sit on the garden furniture put the cushions out so yeah let's do that actually guys i think i'm gonna do myself a fried egg because i am the worst at poached eggs like jasper's actually quite good at them but me 
I'm just not very good. Also, if you're wondering where Jasper is, he's currently at work. And then I think after work, he's going to go meet his friends. So he probably won't be in this video that much. But yeah, he's out today. So I'm just having like a day by myself, just at home, getting my life together. So that is what we're doing. So let's fry this egg. I've just put the toast on. Let's do it. <laughs> I have now put on some makeup so feeling a little bit more put together um we are gonna I actually put some washing on whilst I was doing my makeup so that is now done so we can hang that out on the washing line get some fresh washing in our lives and yeah get that out on the line so I'm gonna do that now and then I think I'm gonna do like a little bit more cleaning just around the house um I need to do like a proper big deep clean like I've been needing to do like just you know when you like wipe all the skirting boards and stuff so I think I might start doing a bit of that today but not like finish it all because it's such a nice day and I also just want to sit in the garden for a bit and chill out so yeah let's do that let's put the wash in on the line and get that done just in the living room i'm gonna start by tidying and cleaning this room got my pink stuff i love the smell of this like why does that actually does i swear no one talks about the smell like how good this smells like i actually love the smell of it so gonna be using this got a little microfiber cloth i'm gonna wipe the coffee table um the dining table and then i'm just gonna give it a little hoover i think i might hoover all the cushions on the sofa as well so that is what we're doing now so let's get to it We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me But when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be When there's a problem you become like a wall And every time I trip it's a free fall Why don't you help me the way I help you You don't have to save me, just be my parachute When I'm feeling down you're just not there Making sure I'm okay I'm just gonna spray my sofa with my Febreze this is nice. It's just not like super strongly scented. It's just kind of like refreshing. So if you like scent, strong scents, you probably won't like this. But it's just kind of like, I don't know, it just reminds me of like when you put clothes in the wash and they come out smelling quite fresh. So this is what I'm going to use on the sofa now. That is the living room all nice and tidy. It actually smells so good. Like the combination of the pink stuff and the Febreze literally smells incredible. Love it. Like, I just want, like, more, like, scented cleaning products because it actually just smells incredible. Also, guys, if you're wondering, you might not be wondering, but do you guys remember when, like, it was, like, a few weeks ago, we were doing the pebbles down the side. We have literally made no progress. Like, Jasper's lost so much interest in it because... It was taking us forever. Um, it's still exactly the same. We are going to finish that off in like a couple of days. So that video will be coming soon. It's such a simple, tiny little project that we're going to do. And we turned it into like this massive thing where we can get pebbles and... That's just a bit of a nightmare, but it's literally like the last little thing we need to do in the garden, then everything's pretty much done. So yeah, I will definitely show you guys that. I had a couple of people asking like, when are you finishing that? It is coming. Like we just literally need to get around to it. I always find like, does anyone else get this like when you work like throughout the week and like go to the gym or just have like a really busy week when you get to the weekend like i just want to like lie on the sofa all day we did that one day was it last weekend me and jasper literally woke up planted ourselves on the sofa and watched netflix all day i watched so much of the bold type but also we just watched youtube literally the whole day ordered uber eats it was like the laziest day and it was just so nice it was just so nice to have like a little i don't know it just felt so refreshed the next day like i know i had a little nap like it got to like four o'clock and i was so tired so i fell asleep like it was just the nicest day so i just feel like having those days are so important just to like completely switch off and just not think about anything so yeah i've definitely been just giving myself a bit more time to just chill out and like not do much because i think our like lives can be just so like go 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 all the time and 
I don't know, it just can be so exhausting. So I just think for me personally, like, I love having like little days to chill. So yeah, that's your little reminder just to have a day, do nothing, set aside just some time just to chill and relax. So yeah, anyway, I am just gonna finish off tidying the kitchen and then I shall let you guys know what we get up to next. I'm also actually thinking of maybe doing some baking. I'm not that I'm, I'm I'm actually so bad at baking like I never do it but I have this little like it's this is actually like cheating baking but I have a little like um what they called like Betty Crocker but it's not Betty Crocker it's Betty Crocker where it's like a pre-mix and then you literally add like eggs or something and then it's like made I was thinking to do one of those um I've got one in the cupboard I got it from Aldi I'm pretty sure it was um so it's not like a proper like branded one I don't think ah uh, here we go I've left it in this little cupboard so this is the kit, it's like these chia and cacao chocolate chip brownie mix and I've got another one in there. Let me just get it out of this cupboard. Oh this one sounds so good, it's a cacao rich chocolate brownie baking mix. So yeah I picked these up from Aldi, um, so I was thinking of maybe doing this, I don't know what I actually need for it. I'll just add 250ml of your favourite milk and some vegetable oil. I'm going to do the brownie mix because I think that just sounds so delicious. I feel like these are maybe more nutritious than like some of the other ones. Like this one's chia and cacao which sounds a bit fancy, do you know what I mean? So I'm going to make these. All we got to do is preheat the oven, let's do that now. And then pop it in a bowl and mix it all together. So let's do that because I really do more bacon i feel like i would really enjoy it it's just because i'm i just don't feel like i'm that good at it at the moment but i feel like if i got really good at like cooking or baking or just did it a lot more i feel like i'd probably really enjoy it so definitely need to make more time to like actually do it so let me find a tray do you know what would be so cool i wish i was like one of those types of people that could be like oh it's your birthday coming up let me bake your birthday cake and just make it like so fancy and just like so cool like could you imagine if you were like so good at baking cakes I don't know, is that just me? Is that weird? <laughs> but I just can imagine like someone's birthday and you're like, oh my gosh, let me make you a free tiered chocolate field. Like, it would just be absolutely incredible. But anyway, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself because all I'm using is a packet mix. But right, let's do it. Guys, do you think I should like it doesn't seem to like line the tin, but I feel like it would be much easier to get out. So this is the tin I'm gonna put it in. I feel like I am gonna line it. I'm not very good at lining tins, but let's just do it. Also, I think the trouble with my baking is that I don't have all the baking like utensils. Like, I don't have a mixing bowl, which I don't know why. <laughs> like, why don't I have a mixing bowl? So I'm just using one of my like IKEA wooden bowls. Hopefully it's big enough. I mean, if not. There's nothing we can really do about it because I just don't. So yeah, I mean, this is gonna look very unprofessional, but like, do we expect anything less from me? <laughs> oh my God, that smells so chocolatey. So I just emptied the mixture into there. It said to have 125 grams. I've literally just scraped everything out, so it's we've got like 117, which I feel like would be fine, you know? Almost there, so I'm just gonna melt this in the microwave, then pour it in with the eggs, then that's it. So simple, I love it. <laughs> Guys, look how good this mixture is. It just smells so good, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that is all done, so I'm just gonna pour it into the tin and then whack it in the oven. Guys, I'm currently sat on the sofa eating a clippo. These are literally the best. Like, if you, I get them from Asda, so good. I used to love the clippo little like balls. I don't know what they were called. They were like in a little like, kind of remind me of like a little dustbin, if that makes any sense. But I used to love those. They were literally so tasty obsessed um and i absolutely love these i'm so obsessed with these at the moment so i've been eating a lot of these but i'm currently i'm currently watching love island i'm watching the one with molly mayen and i'm on currently on episode five like i'm re-watching it and i just love it so there's probably quite a lot of people in the world that hate love island but i'm just so here for it so yeah anyway i'm watching love island eating a clippo sun is out living my best life you know tastes so good guys the brownie is out look how good that looks um so i'm just gonna leave it to cool and then we shall chop it up and give it a little taste test right guys it is time 
Let's try a bit of brownie. It smells, it smells really nice. Mmm. Definitely tastes more like a cake, but I like it. Nice. So, guys, I have just come out to the bathroom and I'm gonna take off my makeup, do my skincare. I mean, it's literally like, what time is it now? Like half six. So, I feel like I, it gets to around this time and I'm just always like, I just wanna sh have a bare face, just get all cozy. So that is what I'm doing. That was literally the worst one ever. <laughs> I've completely run out of makeup remover. So I'm just going to use my Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel and just do this like a couple of times just to get the majority of my makeup off. And then probably go over with some actual micellar water after. I just find it so much easier to like actually wash the makeup off and then rather than just like using cotton pads or anything like that. So that is what we are doing. But I've actually had the nicest day. Like, it's so weird. Like, obviously, today Jas has been out, like, the whole day. So, I've just been sort of doing my own thing, like, by myself. And I actually really enjoyed it. Like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love hanging out with Jasper. But, but I just feel like it's just so good to have, like, time by yourself. Especially when you're, like, in a relationship and you're spending, like, a lot of time with someone and seeing someone a lot. Like, it's just quite nice to, like, do things by yourself and just... I always see, like... I always see some people say like you should take yourself on a day and like just do things by yourself. I think it also makes me realise that I don't like depend on anyone else and I don't rely on anyone else. I'm quite happy with my own company and I think it's a really nice place to be. I think it's so important because at the end of the day, the only person that you can really rely on is yourself. And I just think it's nice like if you enjoy your own company and can do things by yourself, then I think that's a really good thing. So anyway, I'm gonna wash my face. Makeup is all washed off. Also, just notice this bruise have absolutely no idea where it's from how strange i feel like i must have actually to be fair i think i whacked my arm when i got up in the middle of the night to go to the... for a wee i don't know but does anyone ever just get bruised and you're just like where the hell does that come from <laughs> that's literally me i was like washing my face in the mirror and i was like oh what is that i feel like my skin went through such a good like period of time like it was just so clear and i thought it was down to those turmeric shots i was taking um but then my I had my period like two or three weeks ago and just before my period I started getting so many spots around here and then on my forehead as well and they kind of haven't really completely gone like they're definitely better but yeah I don't know I always get confused with my skin sometimes because I feel like I've literally cracked the code and then spots just reappear so who really knows but I'm quite blessed with my skin to be fair like even though I do have a couple of pimples and I think it's because my skin is like so fair like i'm very pale so when i i've literally got none of this left um so when i do have spots like this so obvious so yeah a little bit annoying but you know you can't you can't help these things can you you shouldn't worry about what you can't change and i feel like spots just come and go you know i need to do myself like a little beauty bay order or something because I've hardly got any serum left and then i'm just gonna pop some cream on top when it comes to nighttime skincare i love when it's like quite like sticky and oily because it just i don't know it just makes my skin feel so nice in the morning and we are done so i'm gonna go back downstairs watch some more love island I might put a film on yeah let's go so guys that is the end of today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did because it does really support my channel and also my next vlog is gonna be getting my hair done a little sneak peek you can't really see because it's like all tied up but yeah that'll be my next one thank goodness because my roots in this video just not a vibe so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy it make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos or vlogs and i shall see you all very very soon with another video thanks guys bye <laughs>